Welcome back. We've got our third course now. We're going to do a seared elk, I think. Yeah, let's, let's put the heat to the meat. <laughs> let's do it. So tell me about this elk, because I mean, I've never cooked with elk before. And uh, not a lot of people have, unless you're, unless you're a hunter or something, but elk is one of those meats that's very simple and very easy to do. The only thing you can really do to elk is, is try to do too much. Yeah. Simply seared, seasoned, it's perfect. As long as you don't cook it past medium rare. This is an elk tenderloin right here. A whole elk tenderloin. Can we eat it just like that, like sashimi? <laughs> yeah, we'll do a little car pot and a few medallions here. We'll cut the tail off. All right, you said medium rare, and that's because it's such a lean meat. If you overcooked exactly. it, it becomes really tough, right? It gets tough, and it starts to develop some, uh, some gamier flavors, and it just dries out in a hurry. You can see, just looking at the inside of this, there's no marbling there whatsoever. That is just solid lean meat. Just pound it down a little touch here. So we've got about, about four or five ounces of, of elk here, and that's about as much as you want to do. It's really, really rich stuff, so it, you, don't, you don't need a 16-ounce a steak, you know. I've got a very hot pan. You really want to do this one right. Get just a little touch of oil in there. And I'm going to season this with a little bit of our own blend. This is our Texas Red Dirt Rub. A lot of fun. Texas Red Dirt Rub. This one's available on our website. It's got a little bit of spice to it. This is our Creole blend of seasonings. I'm going to put just a little seasoning on, on the elk here. And we'll lay those down in our pan. Right when you get it in there, you want to hear that so if Click we can't find side. elk, because I'm definitely not a hunter, right? Yeah. Is there a substitute to this, or where do you find sure. it? Sure. Easiest thing in the world would be tenderloin. Okay. Beef tenderloin would be a wonderful substitute for this. We have a clean cutting board for this one to let, uh, let these rest on for just a moment. Notice how they're nice and browned up on one side. Mm -hmm. As soon as they browned up on both sides, that's all we need to do. Yeah. It's like Rachel Ray maybe. <laughs> 30 minutes or less. It's 30 like minutes, Five minutes right. or less. The hunters have always said, you know, elk and ducks, so that's what we call fast food. <laughs> this is uh, how we start our plate presentation. It's just a ring mold. These are available for a couple of bucks at any gourmet store. And we put some refried black beans down in the middle of the plate, nice and earthy. I use a little bit of bacon in mine. We like to flavor them up. On top of that, we add a little bit of pico de gallo made with yellow tomatoes okay. instead of red tomatoes. Put a nice little layer of those. Something hot, then something cool right on top. Adds a nice little bit of contrast to this plate. Then I'll place those little medallions okay. in a few spots around the plate. Take a little bit of sauce that we made from yellow tomatoes also. I love the acidity and sweetness of yellow tomatoes right in between each one. We also use a little bit of spice in this from Chili's Pekin. These Pekins are those little bitty guys that pack quite a little punch. And then we finish it off with a few microgreens. This is micro cilantro. This is cilantro flavor that is way more intense than your than your regular cilantro. It's the, the first little shoots right when they right when they start to sprout. And they have a real pepperiness, a beautiful flavor. And that is our elk tenderloin. Wow, I was I just want to smell it. Oh, I mean yeah. honestly, it looks beautiful and it smells beautiful. I can't wait. I'm salivating. 